What is going on with this box? This is the largest box of any ebook reader we have ever seen. I'm, of course, not including gigantic 25 inch monitors, 13.3 inch devices, etc. This is gigantic. Thank you to Xiaomi for sending us this sample. Kinbor is a stationery company out of China that has various licensing with a ton of different brands, everyone from Hello Kitty, Sanrio, all the way to Disney. They have a massive amount of accessories inside this box. This is a huge box. Let's get into it. This is... This, this is such a big box, everybody. This company is kind of like, with our light research we did in it when we landed this, is kind of like Plus Corporation or King Jim. They make everything from file folders to shopping bags and ledgers and stuff like that. So let's see what, <laughs> what is going on here. This is gigantic. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Oh, there's another box in here. But it's packed in such a way where it needs this box okay well that seemed a little bit redundant because it looks like they could have gotten away with this box with a tighter kind of more encompassing piece of cardboard but then they wouldn't have been able to fit in this to go shopping bag and it almost looks like that box was to accommodate this bag because it's bigger than the dimensions of this either way this is more wieldy okay let's look at the box you get this very nice faux leather it is not leather it is just cardstock and it has been rolled or textured in such a way although you do get this very nice holographic logo right there you'll see it changes colors based on which way you hold it orange on the side oh and look peekaboo at the back what is this supposed to be after the fact why is there a hole there is there something that slides or some sort of fun kind of pop-up feature it doesn't look like it i do believe this is going to be magnetic here so let's snap this open it is has magnetic snap let's see what is inside so you have the Kinbor collaboration piece of wax paper covering everything. I like that. So far, not a whole lot of plastic. All of this is for this guy right here. This is the Ink Palm Mini, and we are going to get into the review and see how it is different than the previous model because it almost looks like it may be. We'll have to double check to see if it's been updated or anything like that. But let's see what's in here. This is such a... Oh, wow, that is hefty. Oh, there's a bag in here. This is like a a bag strap. This is a satchel strap, and it's got this really heavy linkage right here with a tight spring action. Okay, this is this is good. This is good. And nothing in the bottom there, and that's where the little slot was. I wonder what that was for, because this is completely hollow. You know, we've seen a lot of collaborations recently with different manufacturers, so it's not really surprising us, but it is interesting to see... Especially because, well, until today, we didn't know who Kinbor was. I guess we shouldn't know. All right, what's in here now? This looks to be a sticker pack. Yep, they are outlined. They have some sort of kind of keying around, so it is a sticker of some sort. We have this gigantic sheet, and it looks to open up and reveal... Hey, all the accessories and everything on the inside. There you go. So it tells you you have, it looks like we're, we're still going deeper, guys. We have a ledger here. We got a pen. Oh, my goodness. It tells you how to use the pen. This is crazy. All right, let's 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 dive deeper because this is, this is a little bit of an adventure here. All right, we got this gigantic lunchbox here. And where's the book? Oh, huh, there's nothing else in the box. All right. Well, it must be in here then. Let us open this. That is taped. Do I have to wreck that? Nope, I don't. Okay, we're going to keep this nice because we're going to do a giveaway on this because it doesn't really do us too good, too much point having another ink palm kicking around. Oh, wow. I'll tell you guys so far, everything feels super high quality. Oh, this is the bag. So you would latch it on like that and you got yourself a little bit of a... Ah, I mean, I'm no fashionista, fashionisto, but it does have some sort of kind of to go tin look to it even though it is kind of rubber so opening this up we have some more stuff oh that wasn't a ledger that was a accessories for the actual device okay so inside you get a little accessory holder there and it does look like it is lined quite nicely so it's not going to scratch your unit or anything like that inside we have an aluminum plate with a braided cable wow that's a high quality i, I don't even know what that is honestly i I have I don't know what that could be 
it, it even... Oh, it's a nameplate. Okay, got it. It says name. Ah. All right, we have some months and to-do stickers as well. Little tabbed stickers. And we have a really nice three-way pen. Made in Japan. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, made in China. What, what, what's, what's happening here? Made in Japan, made in China. Okay, so w which is it? All right, that's a false advertisement there, if I've ever seen it. And a ledger. We're, this is just a ledger, guys, and it looks like that's what you utilize the pen for and the little stickers here. So we're not going to open this. I'm going to keep this sealed for you guys. I thought that was going to be a phone case, which would have been a nice touch, seeing that you do get this kind of cell phone-esque looking device in the form of a mini e-reader we are going to open this because we haven't done an updated video on an ink palm for quite some time so let's see if it is indeed anything different than what we have seen before now this is the ink palm mini not the ink palm plus which has kind of gone out of the mini world into a much bigger device than what it once was oh you know what you don't need a case because that's right there's a case in here i believe I do feel something in there. How does this open? Does it open like that or is that? No, it does. Yeah, so you do have a case. You have a gel silicone clear case right there inside the box. So we'll be doing a giveaway on this. You know, I just realized right now when they called me in, we could have done an unboxing e-paper on this. That's okay. We'll do a separate video and we'll give you guys this unit after the fact. So this should be silver on the back, not orange. Despite all the orange themes, the orange one came out on the back color when the Ink Palm Plus came out. This one is the Ink Palm Mini, and you will see that it is that reflective backing. I do not like this backing. There's the camera setup. Hi, everybody. This is a very easy backing to scratch. You have to be very careful with it. We're just going to turn this on and go over just the inside particulars of what it looks like when you crank it on for the first time. Fortunately and unfortunately, when you do finally open the device, it is just more of the same. This is the Ink Palm Mini. And actually, it doesn't have any language settings. We did go through the back end. We tried to go through a bunch of the displays and everything like that. And that actually says language, and it does actually have a language setting. But the only choice is Chinese. So it doesn't really have English on it. You do find some English in the testing of the back end where you can look at the waveform controller. You can look at the EPD. You can control the glow light. All of that kind of fun stuff. But you know what it is? Is that this really is one of the only small handheld e-readers. This and to a lesser extent Hisense devices. But Hisense devices are very expensive. This is below 200 bucks. So really, with something like this, you get a lot of one-handed usability because if you check the review out, which will be on the end roll and the video cards, you will see that you can actually command this to be a one-handed ebook reader. And it does have a store, and we have scanned through the store, and unfortunately, 98% of the content is going to be in Chinese. So unfortunately, it's just it's not feasible if you don't speak or read Chinese. There's also some apps here, but you can long press them and you can uninstall them. It does have a web browser as well. You can sideload in APKs. You can go to Google and stuff like that, which you actually can't even do in China because China doesn't have access to Google. So there is some benefit. Also, you can sideload in your own content all day long. We've reviewed this before. We were kind of hoping for something a little bit different, a little bit more of a software update, maybe a skin. But it really is just the same kind of thing. You get this blue chrome aluminum backing with a very weirdly enough a reflective screen which has been a problem with the Xiaomi devices with the Ink Palm, the Ink Palm Mini, the Ink Palm Plus etc. They do use shiny screens which is just it, it doesn't make any sense. You don't the e-paper plus shiny screens goes against the inherent nature of the e-paper and it's supposed to be anti-reflective. It is not supposed to reflect the light, but that's what happens here. But if you want something that is a little bit more handheld, something that you can just grab and go EPUB files, open up your Kindle app, open up your Moon Plus Reader, and just utilize the volume buttons as page turns. You can read books just flipping through like that. The unit is a little bit restrictive, doesn't have any speed modes, it is just kind of an as-is experience. So if you guys want to grab one of these, they are available in the store. We cannot 
guarantee how long the actual Kin Bor collaboration will last because usually we've seen these collaborations with the museum edition, the palace edition, special editions that have these collaborative kind of joint ventures. They don't really last very long. They are very time sensitive. They're just kind of limited time only. They did send us this. Thank you to Xiaomi for sending us this sample. If you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, let us know below. But for now, if you guys want any more information on this, check the reviews, check the comparisons. We've done a lot of coverage on these units. And the unit itself, as is, minus the bag and all that other stuff, has been and is still available to this very day and exists as one of the only small screen ebook readers to date. Thank you.